vibe here in Byron Bay is epic. Like yeah, really a lot cool. of the time in Sydney, you'll go somewhere and they'll be like, no, can't come here with the dog. Yeah. Here, everyone's like, oh, cute poodle. <laughs> it's time for one of Pia's totally awesome, super amazing. Any minute now, she'll come down the stairs. I heard my cue. House tours. <laughs> <laughs> Over there. Oh, really? Yeah. So I think it's like... important to mention that we're on a real rush. We were meant to check out 45 minutes ago. Yeah. We overslept. We've now just about to check out. Yes. But we want to do a house tour first, quickly. <laughs> so we stayed here for the last two nights and absolutely loved it. So can I have a look? And this place is dog friendly, which Let's is super go. cool. Let's go show everyone. So you come up in here and it's like this massive high ceiling, open space, and it's just one big room, like a big studio. I think this is like an old warehouse or something. Yeah, it's so cool. Hey, like it's super industrial. There's not even really a ceiling and all the walls are still like just concrete. And I love piping. this though. I love it too. Look at this. It's actually like, it's just, it's just concrete, polished yeah. concrete. And then you come over here. This is like the little living space. Yep. Well, big living space actually. And there's like a really cool artwork there. Wow. <laughs> this artist is everywhere. You'll see more of his art all yeah. around the house. It's yeah. actually incredible. And then this is like the front balcony and they've got, oh. This is like the front balcony here and they've got a little love seat swing and more of these cactuses with the cute pots that are made around the corner. I just love them, they're so adorable. There's little shops like this one and if I come around here, you'll see, oh hang on. There's like a hairdresser's there called Edwards and Co. And then you've got Pop and Scott, which is, um, or they're the people that make the pots actually. Yeah. Um, and every little shopping precinct area along this street looks like this. So it's all, all polished concrete. It's actually beautiful. It's very cool. And then if you just like walk through the studio, over here you've got this long bench. And I just love all the like wooden details. Like it's all kind of, you know, concrete and wood and really, industrial and obviously because it's an airbnb there's like a full kitchen to cook and yeah herbs and spices coffee machine i know i can actually use this because i used to be a barista in a coffee shop while i was studying yeah i'll believe that one <laughs> and then over here we've got probably the world's most comfortable bed kate and i slept in because it was just so hard to get out of this bed this morning i actually think the only bed that's nicer than that one is our, our one. one yeah yes. <laughs> No, really, really good. See, Muesli's gonna demonstrate. Does this get your seal of approval, Muesli? Do you like it? Oh, oh okay, that's weird. <laughs> Let's move on. And then you've got this beautiful rollable table here. And I discovered these are actually tiles. It looks like old wood, but they're like, they're tiles. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I love those showers. They're like yeah. rain, I think they're called rainfall, rainfall showers. Yeah, it's really nice. It feels like heavenly. And then the reason that this place is called Kakti Mikasa is you get this whole space out here. Wow. So Kane and I took some photos here, so go and track down that photo on my Instagram and leave it a like, please. Yeah, and please give me, uh, follow me on Instagram as well. <laughs> <laughs> and look, there's more art on the walls there, which is super nice. I think these cactuses are quite expensive. Look, there's the hairdressers. See? It's cool, because we're here for, to see family over the holidays, we figured we should bring Musi along, which has meant a very, very long drive. Drive, yeah. But also, it's been really fun. Music guys, I go on, good girl. So yeah. this is our beautiful Airbnb. I'll link it in the description below if anyone's interested. Yeah. Seeing, as, seeing as that's what we're doing now, linking Airbnbs. <laughs> 
<laughs> but if you are ever coming to Byron, I highly recommend staying here. It is mm. just such a good little haven. Yes, Love it. And last night we went to... The brewery. The Byron Bay Brewery. Yes, because there was a band playing there. So we had a night out and did not vlog it mm. and slept in this morning and now we're back. So now we're going to drive about an hour and a half north to um, the Gold Coast, which is where her family are. We're going to spend about three or four days there. We're not 100% certain, but because we've got a car, we can pretty much do what we want. Exactly. So off to the Gold Coast. So if you're a long time follower of the vlog, you'll know that normally Muesli is very fluffy. And right now she looks, she looks like a skeleton. And she doesn't look very good, but we shaved her because it's so hot up here. We thought that if we shave, look at how thin she looks. We figured if we shave her, she'll be less hot, but now she just looks embarrassingly thin. Do you like your new haircut or not really? I think that's a no. But it's growing back fast, thank God. At first she looked like, you know those naked cats? Oh no, <laughs> she looked like a sphinx cat. Yeah. Poor thing. You could see your little skin, couldn't you? Because Kane told them to give her a buzz cut. Well, I just knew that we were coming to a really hot location and I figured it was a nice thing to do, but yeah. in retrospect, it was probably a stupid idea. <laughs> I think she's comfortable at least. Muesli, it's dinner time. Not for you, for me. The golden rule in Australia is if you put the back of your hand on the ground and it burns your hand, it's gonna burn your dog's feet, so... We carry her. Yeah. <laughs> We've come to a place called Newry Bar. N-E-W-R-Y-B-A-R. And I think the village goes from there, which is the petrol station, <laughs> to there, which is the cafe that we're gonna go check out. I wanna show you this petrol station first. This looks so cool. Look at this petrol station. This is the coolest petrol station I've ever seen. I apologize if this vlog has an incredibly loud sound of crickets. But the crickets are really loud here, <laughs> so there's not much we can do about that. Is this Harvest or is that Harvest? Both of them. Oh, great. Both of them. Are they different restaurants? Here is the restaurant, over there is the deli. Oh, so can we yeah. eat? So yeah. Eat. Where's good with the dog? Good with the dog, this area. Probably. Okay, great. I have a cold pressed drink that gives me courage. courage. <laughs> Orange, carrot, what is it? Orange, carrot, lemon, ginger, and turmeric. It's yum. Oh, that's nice. And I like how they have these straws because they're eco friendly. Oh, they're not plastic. No, they're like paper. So they don't. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, now I won't be able to get it out. <laughs> Hang on, I can make this, I can make this a bit better. <laughs> Look at what just arrived. I don't actually know what an oyster is. Like, I don't think it's an animal, but no, it's not. Oh, it's not an animal. I'm pretty certain that oyster, a bit of sand, gets into the shell. Yeah. And it antagonizes it and goes round and round and round and round. And then it makes the oyster, and in the middle is the pearl. It just makes goo. <laughs> what goo is it? Ah, uh, oysters. Animals. <laughs> vegan, just like vegan. Oh, I have no reception. Yeah, we're so far in the outback, there's no signal. Never mind. We'll just take my word for it. This is um, like ox heart tomatoes with buttermilk. This is carrots with fermented grains. And then here we've got zucchini. 
So lunch is finished and the guy said, who served us, that if we walk down here, they've got chickens. So oh. we're gonna go check out chicken coops and beehives apparently. <laughs> what could and possibly go wrong? The tallest sunflowers I have ever seen. Where? Have a look, they're like as tall as me. Look, taller than it's me. It's actually taller. <laughs> that is a solid plant. Yeah, that's the beehive. Oh my goodness, there's a beehive. I'm terrified of bees, so this is as close as I'm gonna to get to that. <laughs> I'm not. Bees pollinate a load of things. If the bee population keeps going down, it will ruin the whole food chain f for like loads of loads of plants and species. Oh, this is a flow. Okay, this thing is incredible. I saw it on Kickstarter. It's not a normal beehive. I'm pretty certain I saw it on Kickstarter. And what you do is you take off the side and you turn a dial and it basically, all the honeycombs inside it, they're not actual honeycombs made by the bees, they're plastic. And when you twist it, the honeycomb cracks. All the honey drops out to the bottom and then you close it up again. And so you don't, you disturb the bees as little as possible, but you can still extract all the honey. Although given how much Pierre is scared of bees, I don't think we're ever going to get one in our apartment. Hello little chickens. They're big. So this is where they get all the eggs for the restaurant from. Also, behind you, they're bamboos. I always thought that bamboo was like as thin as my finger, but that's massive. 